Hi, I'm Jim Snavely, and ever since I was a young teen, I've always had a tremendous uh, burden for those that uh, were lost. Uh, it was an evangelistic service that I was at in the heaven and hell, and my heart has been gripped ever since that people that don't know Jesus uh, have an eternity that uh, is not going to be very comfortable or very nice. And I started off at, at age 13, sharing Christ with my friends, uh, turning some of them off. And I soon learned that uh, uh, there is a, a more appropriate and better way to approach people, not one where we offend. And over the years, uh, I worked on developing uh, a plan on how to touch base with people. And my wife and I determined uh, many years ago that uh, uh, wherever we went, we were, uh, meant to be uh, God's ambassador for him. So if we were going to a restaurant or we were going to a store or a workshop or whatever it might be, we would always pray before we go in and ask God to simply bring to our attention a person or persons that were in need. And God really has blessed that uh, in our lives. Uh, my wife and I had the privilege uh, on several occasions to lead uh, uh, someone to the Lord in a grocery store, uh, many a time uh, in a restaurant, uh, many a time in a store, or just simply walking in our neighborhood. One particular here that happened in our area here, uh, I was uh, meeting uh, with uh, one of our pastors at uh, a local restaurant and got to know uh, a young lady. We'll just call her June. I'm not going to give you her name, but got to know her and found out that uh, she was really troubled and frustrated. <clears throat> I saw, uh, I think the second or third time I met her in that restaurant that her hand was shaking. And I just assumed then that it was either a withdrawal from drugs or necessity for the next hit. So I asked her and I said, I see your hand is shaking. And I said, is there trouble? And well, she said, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. So the next time I came to the restaurant, I was there about 10 minutes ahead of the person I was going to meet. And she came over and I said, hello. And she said, hello. And she said, I I'm going to tell you why my hands are shaking. She said, I am in withdrawal from prescription drugs. And she said, it's been a real battle for me. And we got to talking and uh, sharing. And I talked to her about her need for Christ. And she said, well, she went to church as a child, but she didn't understand some of the things I was talking about. And then she had to move on. A couple of weeks later, I was in the restaurant again, and we had another chance to talk. And I believe one time after that, and then I had a meeting set up with an individual and uh, we had a no show. The restaurant was very empty. And she came over and we started talking and I said, you can sit down if you want to. So she sat down and I shared with her Jesus' simple plan of salvation. And she uh, accepted Jesus Christ as her savior. You know, I know no greater joy in life, no greater thrill, no high, like leading somebody or coaching somebody to Jesus Christ. Now in a sense that was seed sowing, and I have the privilege many times of sowing some seeds, somebody else sows a seed and somebody else leads them to the Lord. I believe, and my wife and I chose years ago, that that was going to be our philosophy of reaching out to the lost, sowing seeds, and maybe they would be ready that day to receive Christ, but maybe we would just be a seed sower. You have contact with your neighbors, your best friends, family, like nobody else has and uh, perhaps you never talk to them about what's most important to you in life, and that's Jesus. A good way to approach that is to simply uh, uh, address them one day and say, you know, I'm ashamed of myself. I've known you all these many years, and I never shared with you what's in, most important to me in my life. May I share that with you? And then just simply tell them about Jesus Christ and his plan, his plan of salvation. And you might be surprised uh, what uh, is entailed afterwards. You might find that you will be bringing somebody to the Lord or at least a step towards that, maybe inviting them along to church. So evangelism is a God-given responsibility to each one of us. And uh, I want to encourage you to step out 
It's actually commanded by God that we are to be witnesses. And we have the greatest answer to what life is all about. It's Jesus. It's the only answer to life and to death. So I encourage you, let's step out. Let's do something that will impact a person with the cause of Jesus Christ. Thank you.